This is a sticking point with me. It's quite a big sticking point. Anyway, so we should be on Radio Ulster and we got a press photographer coming down to take photos. And then we start the trip. So this is like an additional bit of mileage on top which we weren't really counting on. Good morning. Oh. Good, there, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, Sleep yeah. well? Yeah, not too bad. Quick yeah. one. Hmm? Quick one. Um, I've got no pants on. <laughs> Please spin the camera around now. Because the look on my face was not one of someone who's walked in wearing no pants. Or surprise. Uh, or surprise. <laughs> Should we do it again? <gasps> so I am, I am, I am wearing clothes. Um, but because we packed light, um, Northern Ireland's far more advanced than the UK. In, uh, the uh, um, England. Rip. Um, what? Well, mumbling noises. They're more advanced, they don't have radiators. Have you noticed? I didn't notice that, I thought... We have radiators in our houses, which we hang stuff on. So I washed it and thought, I'll hang these on the radiator. And then looked around the whole building, there are no radiators. This is a sticking point with me. It's quite a big sticking point. I had clothes for every single day of the week we were going. When I packed them, and Jonathan saw them, he said, what are you doing? You don't need that many. I'm only bringing three. Lots of everything. So I brought three. <laughs> I brought three lots of everything. I now, funny enough, I'm in a position where I don't have enough clothes. Jonathan, however, oddly, has now more pairs, which suggests to me he put more in afterwards. Can I make a suggestion? But I brought. Can you suggest? I brought. I, I have some of yours. I, as no. compensation. No. I brought one thing you didn't bring, and that was deodorant. So my clothes last him considerably longer, and, and. I can also eat without <laughs> <laughs> without throwing my food up in the air to catch it like that. I've never seen. That. We come out of a restaurant. There's so more. There's more this, food on his T-shirt. More food on his T-shirt than there was on the menu. How's that happen? Small menu. See ya. Bye. 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 Cheers. And off we go. So we're leaving. This is day two in Northern Ireland. We only just tipped into Northern Ireland yesterday. So uh, day two, another glorious day. 60 miles today, but we're supposed to be on Radio Ulster in around about 30 minutes. People do say to us, why aren't you tweeting or why aren't you doing this? It is incredibly difficult to ride at speed on an electric unicycle and then do filming and plugging microphones in <laughs> and everything like that. So it's quite difficult. So we do little as possible of it. And then you've also got to juggle it with whether you've got a data signal or not or reception and battery life. So anyway, so we should be on Radio Ulster and we got a press photographer coming down to take photos. But we've got to go back in, to, essentially into Belfast to do that. So we're going five miles in, coming back five miles the same way. And then we start the trip. So this is like an additional bit of mileage on top, which we weren't really counting on. Uh, because we booked the hotel, the bed and breakfast last thing, it meant that we had to be quite picky with where we were going to be and the cheapest one without being silly money was right out so it's five miles out so got 10 miles added on to today but we're doing about 70 miles instead of 60 actually because of that additional mileage right see you in belfast Nice Ian. to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is Norman. Norman. This, this is Ian. Hiya. Norman and Jonathan. Nice to meet, good you. To meet you. Hi there. This Hi is there. Arthur, photographer. Arthur, good to see you. Arthur. Stick down the years to even <laughs> enter into a conversation with me. But, but, but Jonathan, your surname's Wally and you're on a unicycle riding from Banbridge to Larne. Why are you doing this? It's more than that. We're riding from Gloucester. Right across, we've, been, we've been across Wales, we've been all the way up from Wexford to past Dublin, we're going up to Larne. Which channel is he on? You on the side. Right, I've got to keep, Scotland, put a bit of a narrowing actually. Right down through the <coughs> Lake District to the Yorkshire Downs, the Peak District. On a thousand miles on electric unicycles to raise money and awareness for the But the, the test is, the test is which, which one? The bags are the heaviest. So is it mine or is it John's? Yours. That one? Is it? 
No, that's the other. Let's see. Yep, yeah, definitely else to have it. <laughs> but imagine wearing that. Even no, though, no, no, even no, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I mean, it's not like, it's not <laughs> massively, like it's not massively different. No, no, but no, it's like a smidge, isn't it? That one is a bit heavier. No, just, just, you said definitely, you said definitely heavier, though. No, you said that one's Right, because this is, is. So you've entered a, a foray here of a contentious issue. <laughs> no, no, but just a smidgen. No. Oh, no, oh, no, oh no, come on. No, Go on, let's go back to this now. Don't take it, <laughs> She's having doubts now. She's having doubts. No, I think that is heavier. What? <laughs> oh, clearly. Clearly. <laughs> so we've got a maybe and a clearly. Right, we're heading off to the children's centre. Woo! Hi. See ya. I nice see it. And we are off. John there. Got the slightly lighter bag. Bally Claire next. Bally Claire. Here we come. Ever seen anything like this? No. No. No weird people around here then. No. <laughs> Can we squeeze on through? You can see you're fast, mate, but they aren't where they are, yeah, mate, they're fast. <laughs> I'll go on through. Be, walk past them trees. Yeah. Walk Sweet. Yeah. Brilliant. We're doing a thousand miles look, can't turn can't afford to turn around, so. I haven't turned comms off now. Does it? Hello there. Yeah. 
Well, you can help us. We're uh, wanting to stop off and have a drink and a bite to eat, but we're on a thousand mile journey by electric unicycle raising money for charity. Are we okay to just bring our unicycles in and just put them there and just charge them up? We just need two plug sockets just on the wall there. Okay. No, no, we're just sticking that corner. Is that right? You look know, wonderful, thank you, Rick. Oh, John. Here's your map. Here's your map and glove. That's not a nail, good. Just wait for job. Glimpse is on. We have left nothing here. Oh, that's tight to get in there. How are we all doing? We're doing well. Very good day. Doing? Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh, Hello. How are you doing? All right. This is Lisa. She's a shop assistant. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. How are you doing? All right. This is Ian, and this is Jonathan. Jonathan, you're doing just for nothing. Just in the Bernardo store. Um, got a belt. So I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get probably gonna get John a little present as well, just to cheer him up. He's a bit down. Pretty sure it's gonna be that there. Um, but I'm gonna have a look. What oh, possibly that there? Oh, that's, that's quite. It's <laughs> gotta be that. But also, I bought him a present so he can put it in his bag. I'm, I'm gonna put it in John's bag. <laughs> yes, for him. I've been looking for something just like that for quite some time. So. There you are, £5.99. Yeah, because it's quite awkward to carry and we haven't got a lot of space. Oh so. my god, I can't believe you. John, John, good news. I've got your present. I've literally just bought it. I was thinking, because you've got tired feet when you come back from the each day, I've got you a foot massager. I didn't hear what it was. <laughs> <laughs> look at it. So you put your feet, look, it's, it's perfect. We get really achy feet. <laughs> yes, I was chatting with these guys and they said it's absolutely perfect. That's a comfy feet. There's batteries in it, they've got new, they put new batteries in it as well. It's electronic. Yeah, yeah. Ian, all I can say is, thank you. <laughs> I, I will find a way to repay you for this kind of gift. Yeah. Lovely. Follow the adventures of Lynn from Larn all the way back to his start. Yay! See if Lynn makes it, okay. Not packed like that, will look at it. <laughs> that's always going to get packed. Uh, there's the Bernardo store, Ireland, last we see. See ya!
further to go this evening we've got about 13 mile stretch this evening and then we end up at uh, we're a borrowed residence so we've got uh, one of John's friends house Leslie and Michael thank you very much for letting us pop over Absolutely amazing. Look at it, spectacular. Look at that, beautiful. Please come back. What? Please come back. Yeah, I had um, flies in my ear then. Yeah, of course you do. Fleas. Caught you at it. Can you get the uh, black... The fleas out? No. Oh. Little black bit? No, no. Can you get the little... Oh, it's in my back pocket. I'll throw that. <laughs> Go up there, because he's... Thanks, Should we park on this corner? Yeah. Seems sensible to me. It's quite sensible. Right. Hello. Hello, you. Battery charges didn't deliver them. Well, they did, they so we're gonna go and collect them. So we're gonna go and get them tomorrow morning. It's on our route anyway. It's on our route anyway. <laughs> 